Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for February, 2024. I hope everybody's doing really well. I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody out there, but guys, just take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the monthly readings are predictive in nature. So depending upon your timeline, um, this could be past, present, or future. So these events could occur in the next few weeks, if not now. Also, please make sure you do not force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Virgo for February? Virgo for February. All right, Virgo, you're starting out with the Two of Swords, and it is crossed by the King of Wands. So you're making a decision here, and I feel like you're being very proactive. You're taking action on this decision. Let's see what happened here in the past. I feel like it may have taken you a while to come to this decision. You may have kind of been sitting a little bit at a crossroads. You may have been ambivalent about which direction you wanted to move in, didn't really know what to do. But I do see you now having made a decision and now taking action on it. Show me the past for Virgo. The Hierophant. Okay. So you moved into a committed connection or possibly this could have been a committed job of some sort. Let's see why all this is happening. Ooh, the emperor. So some of you moved into a commitment with a twin flame. Um, others of you, what I'm seeing here is with the emperor, you're taking charge of your own life here. I like this energy for you. You're really proactive. You're taking charge. You're, you're making decisions and you're getting things done. Let's see what's on your mind. And that's very high energy you're in as well, Virgo. So that's, I like this energy for you. It's very, very um, high energy, high vibration, very decisive. I like it. So what's on your mind is the page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. So you may think that something here is moving too slow. This could have to do with your money. For some of you, you're you're trying to move up in a company or to gain some kind of status within a company. Others of you, you may have gone out on your own. Um, you may be uh, doing a side business or you may be in business for yourself. But what's on your mind is that for some of you, you feel that the money is moving a little bit slowly or that something within this situation is moving slower than what you want. You may also be thinking that you need to be careful and not move too quickly. Let's see what's coming towards you in February. All right, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So some frustration. Frustration about things not working. Um, also, I'm seeing a need for you to look at the details of some situation. Now, in your energy, we have the fool. That's a brand new beginning. So I like that energy for you. So even with the difficulties, it looks to me like there is, um, there is a very high energy that is here. Your, your vibration is really strong. Now, the energy moving towards you is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. This could be somebody that you're not currently speaking with. Um, it could also, excuse me, guys. It could also be the energy of somebody who in the past has been a little bit of a player. Spirit's advice, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Spirit is saying, stand on your own two feet. Be very independent because it's going to yield for you what it is that you want, that sense of self-esteem, that closer connection to spirit, as well as financial rewards. So in your outcome, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse, a need to study up on something, to check into the details and to look at things deeper. 
There's a, there's a need, there's like something here that you are unaware of that has not been told to you. Um, you may have been misguided. So spirit's advice makes a lot of sense. Now in the underlying energy, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. This is underlying energy. And again, it speaks to a lack of communication or a lack of honest communication. And that's underlying this entire reading. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Two of Swords here? All right, so we have the Six of Wands. So you've you've got a situation that may not you may not be feeling the success in. And I feel like you've made a decision to, to uh, take action on this. Now, with the Page of Wands clarifying the King of Wands, there could be some energy of somebody who is being petty, being very small, that's affecting this situation. So be careful about that. Again, I'm seeing that there is a lack of successful communication. You might have even received some bad news that something here is not having the success that you wanted. Um, let's see why the Hierophant is here. King of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now, in your mind, um, your thoughts, we see the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. So you may be kind of stuck. There could be some stuck energy. It could have to do with finances. This would have been in the past or current energy. So money could be affecting a commitment, or you may not be receiving the finances that you feel that you deserve from a current job or a job from the past. So a decision was made because of a lack of success. I do still see that petty energy though, and it has to do with the actions that you're taking. So be very careful about that, that there's not somebody who is trying to undermine you. Um, why is the emperor here? It's an undermining type of energy. Why is the emperor here? It also speaks to jealousy. So there could be somebody who is jealous. Wow, look at that. Four of wands. And it's falling on the emperor. So some of you guys have met your twin flame and you're coming into union with this twin flame. You may be coming out of a relationship that you, know, you were feeling kind of stuck in. Um, you may be ending that. It was an unsuccessful relationship and you are you've made the decision that you're moving forward, that you're going to take action here. It will lead to a, a um, union with your, your person, with your other half, your emperor. Um, that's for some of you. For others of you, I see a reason for celebration. Just be very careful because I don't like this petty energy that is here of somebody trying to undermine your actions, okay? That's the thing that I, because that's what is leading you to kind of feel that things are not successful. And I, I feel like that is an illusion. I don't feel like that is true. Um, there is an energy here of something you don't know. It could be information that's being withheld from you, or it could be that somebody is deliberately misleading you. And whoever it is would be very petty. So be careful with that. But all of this is happening because there's going to be a solidification. If this is job related, something is solidifying. Um, it, whether you've gone out on your own, it could also be an increase in, um, you could be getting a promotion or an increase in finances. Um, but it's, it's an action oriented. And I just feel like you have somebody around you that's a bit petty. They're a little bit petty and a little bit undermining. So be careful with that energy. Um, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Now, this is what's on your mind. Yeah, so something is moving very slowly. Um, it's either an ending, particularly if you're involved with a twin flame and you're in another commitment. You may be thinking you need to end this, but you're reluctant, so you're moving very slowly. Um, for others of you, it's a transformation. 
and you're trying to create this transformation, but you think to yourself, you can't just do it all at once. You have to move, you know, methodically, slowly towards that. For some of you, this has to do with job, and you may be ending one position or one, it could just be a position or it could be a, a job change entirely, but you're thinking about ending it because of a lack of fun funds. The money is not coming as quickly as you thought it would. Now, let's look at February. Spirit, show me February for Virgo. Some of you guys could be experiencing, you know, all of these situations or, you know, just maybe pieces of each one. So, just take what applies for you because this is for more than one person and not everything may apply. All right, let's see what we've got. All right, so we have the chariot reversed. Ten of Wands, the World, Ace of Swords reversed, Four of Cups reversed, Two of Cups, Six of Swords reversed, Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Now that's in Spirit's Advice. Ten of Coins reversed. Four of Coins reversed. And the Ten of Cups reversed. All right. So in February, I see you kind of looking at the details of something that's not working out. There's a lot of problems in this situation. And so in the first week, I see you feeling kind of stuck, really examining and looking at these problems, just kind of not knowing what direction to move in. It's like a, a sense of being overwhelmed and stuck in something that's just not working. Um, I do see you coming to the determination though that you're going to close out this cycle. Um, in the second week of February, I see, um, that there is a situation, you may not be talking to this person or there's just a lack of clarity. Um, but there is somebody here that's approaching you that you have not talked with for a while. This person um, may be somebody that you feel there was a missed opportunity with. You don't really have clarification about why all these problems existed. There's an ending that has taken place. Um, and I see by the middle of the month, this person reaching out to you. This is a soulmate. For some of you, this could be your twin flame. But I see love coming into your life in the middle of February. Now, it could also be a partnership of some, some sort. So, but I do see someone reaching out to you. Um, I see that you are in the middle of February. You're examining this situation. Um, somebody or has has caught your attention and you're realizing what this connection could be or what this relationship could be i see you feeling a little bit stuck though unable to quite move forward um in the third week i see you taking action though to become single or to stand on your own two feet um, and sever a connection so by the end, by about the third week of February, I see you definitely taking Spirit's advice, which is to become uh, independent. And I see you doing that. In order to do that, there is a loss of finances or an ending of a long-term connection. I see that occurring in the final weeks of February. I see you releasing and letting go of a connection that have, you've had for a very long time. Um, you may be risking everything financially in order to do that. And um, if it's not a job situation, it is a, a long-term connection. But I do see you releasing it and letting it go. 
I am seeing, however, that there's a sense of unhappiness about this, not feeling completely emotionally content. Now, it could be that you're releasing a situation in which you were not content, but there's also that processing of emotions that would occur with any kind of ending, whether this be work-related or um, has to do with a relationship. So I see this as a processing of those emotions of, you know, being unhappy and, you know, all the changes that may be occurring here. If this is a, a relationship or a love situation, I feel like it is because you have somebody who is coming back in who is either a deep soulmate or a twin flame by the middle of the month. If this has to do with work, um, I do see you possibly being approached by someone else or receiving some other kind of offer. So let's um, see, you have this new beginning. Let's look at your energy. You have a brand new beginning that's here. And it is a risk. You're taking a risk in order to do this. So it's not without risk. And I do see it... it it may cost you financially. Um, I do see that there's also um, family that is weighing in at some point on this. All right, so we have the Page of Cups, we have the Tower, and we have Temperance. So in your energy, I see you embarking on something brand new here, but it's, you're leading with your heart. So, Virgo, I, I think that that is a positive for you that you are leading with your heart. Um, just make sure you carry your mind with you as well. Because there is going to be, for, for a lot of you, it's a new beginning with, you know, a, a new love or a renewal of love. Um, and if it has to do with work or job, it's something that you feel you're going to love. It's a small offer, but if you feel that it'll grow. You may even feel that you're being guided, angelically guided in this process. I do see that it is going to cause a tower moment in your life. That's where we're seeing this emotional discontentment. So it is going to create, you know, quite a bit of havoc. I'm not going to lie. I do see that. However, I'm also seeing that you even all of that out. Your emotions balance out. Things become more balanced by the end of the month. Now, let's see the energy coming towards you. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So, this could be somebody you haven't talked with for a while. This could be somebody that maybe had in the past has been in and out and you were viewing them as a bit of a player. All right, we have Judgment in reverse. We have the Eight of Wands, and there's that Knight of Cups. So the energy coming towards you could be somebody who feels that in the that you haven't talked with in a while that feels they made a bad judgment call here. This person will be reaching out. There is contact that will create a sudden change. This is um, and that sudden change has to do with an offer. Uh, if this is with a twin flame, then what you're looking at is somebody who maybe thought that there was not going to ever be a chance between the two of you ever again, that you may not have talked to this person in a while. And like I said, you may have viewed them as being a player. This person is going to reach out to you. They could live at a distance from you. If so, they will travel but I see an offer of love. If this has to do with work and job, um, there is a an offer here that is going to be game-changing. And they're hoping you're going to love this. So, yeah. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? This is Spirit's advice. going to be an eventful month. I can see that. We have the Nine of Wands, King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Four of Swords. So, Spirit is saying, you know, that you need to stand on your own two feet, that you need to be independent, strengthen your relationship with Spirit, but be able to stand independently, be, you know, on your own two feet. 
there's an acknowledgement that you're tired here, that you've learned a lot of lessons, but you are very tired. There's also an acknowledgement that you may not trust the situation. So Spirit is saying you have to get very honest with yourself. You have to be honest and direct. Um, if you have residual feelings that, you know, need to be processed with this person from the past that's reaching out, you, you need to be honest about that. There's um, communication that is here, but there's a direct, um, there's a, like, how do I word this? That you have to communicate from a healed perspective and in a very honest way with this person. But that above all, you need to know that you can stand on your own two feet. And I do see you following that advice. I do see that. All right. Let's look at your outcome. Spirit, show me the outcome at the end of the month for Virgo. All right. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups reversed, and we have the Seven of Swords. So by the end of the month, there's this nagging feeling, Virgo, that there's something you just don't know, something you don't, hasn't been revealed to you or told to you. Um, it has to do with love. It has to do with this new love that's coming in, and for some of you, an ending to something that you you don't feel the love, uh, either a situation or a person here. So, but for most of you, this is love that is trying to come in and it's like, you don't even see it. There's a need for you to look at the details, to study this, that there are things that are being uns unsaid that need to be said. Um, I do see you really up in your head about this entire situation. So whatever this is, doesn't look like it's resolving by the end of the month. It looks like there's a new beginning that's trying to come in, but it's just unknown. You don't know if it's actually going to happen or not. Um, that's where this uh, sense of unhappiness, unease is coming from. But I do see you really being up in your head about it, really thinking about it a lot. What is it? I don't know. Is this going to happen? You know, is this going to work out? But I also see you kind of standing your ground. I feel like you're getting a lot of input by the end of the month from other people, family or friends. Um, there's a defensiveness in your energy. It's like things are not settled. So you're very defensive about the situation, standing your ground nevertheless, but, you know, basically feeling like your back is up against the wall. And there's a lot of worry about it because you just don't know if this is coming through or it isn't. So I'm going to say I believe it is because you have this Knight of Cups. There's going to be a sudden change. I just don't know that it's going to happen by the end of the month. It looks like you're still in process. This looks more like the energy of this tower moment. But remember, after the tower moment comes temperance. It comes healing and, and balancing out of the emotions. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So that tells me as an underlying energy that there is a passionate new beginning that is trying to happen here. Yeah, it's going to be quite the eventful month, though. All right, I'm going to pull from the oracles, and we'll see if we can get any further information or advice for you. Spirit, I'm pulling for Virgo. I'm pulling for Virgo. So you have Wizard of Awareness. It's number three. Hold on just a second, and I'm going to read that for you. Your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you, too. If you struggle inside yourself, stepping into an observer position gives you a new, powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. 
Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt the sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go. Experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change, no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good. Let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. Wow, that is very sage advice because I can see the turmoil in your in your energy here, especially by the end of the month. So Spirit is basically saying, just let it unfold. Don't try to influence it. Just sit back and be the observer. And that will help to, uh, it will give you what you need to deal with this tower moment and to bring this balance back in. Yeah, very powerful advice. All right, I hope this has been helpful and has given you some insight into this situation, Virgo. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would be grateful if you do. Until I see you guys in the next weekly reading, namaste.